Here we go. That went on, I'll do that. Right. Oh no, I'll call him on my new number. Here we go. the message bank of zero four three two three seven nine zero six eight oh hi bevan reese james um my lawyer who's signed an agreement um to represent me um i know i haven't paid you any money but you've kind of ignored me um it's obvious that um you've become um a part of my oppression as a person who's um um, allowing my neglect to happen when you could clearly intervene. So I'm sending this um, um, message to say, can you please call me? I'm attempting to make contact with you. And um, it's been weeks now and I've sent you many um, email messages and that's provided the ammunition um, that my opposition, you, need um, to, um, to oppose me. Um, it's a level of deceit that was really cunning and um, it wasn't appreciated. Of course it's not appreciated. Great harm is coming to me. You're a conceited person of privilege, you've got protection and you've got um, qualities in your life that I could only dream of at this moment. And I came to you in a profound sense of despair um, as a homeless person and you stepped in and deceptively said you'd help me. and. You've refused to, and I don't understand really why you've done that. Suffice to say, the government is my nemesis, and that auspices the legal bar, and the legal bar auspices you. In addition to that, um, a very powerful lawyer, Dr. Russell Ball, has silenced legitimate evidence at all these agencies, um, and he informs government policy and advises the Ombudsman. So I'd appreciate if you could um, acknowledge the call and please give me a call back because you signed a document or made me sign it that you would act on my behalf i haven't instructed you to do anything yet um, i'm instructing you to please call me and have an honest conversation about your relationship with me thanks <laughs>